take it off, Bunny Senpai! Do it! Beastars Episode 2, The Heart of the School is in the Garden. Let's do it! In the last episode, Legoshi attacked this little girl, this little bunny girl. Her name is Haru. And this episode begins with her cradling her in his arms. He's squeezing on her. His claws are digging into her fur. He's breathing on her. He's like, oh, God, I got to eat this meat. Oh, I want it so bad. And this is such a great scene. Well, let me say this. It's a great scene and a bad scene. It's great in the sense that we get to see this internal monster that lives inside Lagoshi, like this uh, alter ego almost, you could call it, his inner spirit that wants to eat meat. He's basically forbid himself to do that for the last 17 years of his life. Uh, so he really wants to do it. He wants to give in just this once and he wants to eat this bunny girl. He's smelling her. You know, he's got the aroma, the scent. Uh, he feels her heart beating. I mean, he, he just wants it so bad. Uh, but he prevents himself from doing it. You know, he, he hesitates enough where she's able to escape. And uh, he basically forbids himself from eating meat once again. I love the scene in the sense that you really get insight into Lagoshi. How he's this conflicted individual who's struggling to control himself. And he feels sort of out of place, like he wants to let his true self come out. Uh, but he has to keep it concealed because inside the school, if you eat another animal or if you eat any meat whatsoever, it's considered taboo. You're an outcast. Um, so this is such a beautiful scene and it's a really great insight on Lugoshi's character. Now the bad in the scene... I just hated the animation. I mean, god damn it. That 3D animation is so awful, especially when they turn the camera. I mean, it just looks terrible. And like, Lagoshi's alter ego, his little demon spirit, like they had like a black aura around it, and it just looked terrible. I mean, there's no other way to put it. I mean, it was just so awful and janky and off-putting. And I feel like if this was a 2D animation, they could have made this scene so much better. They really could have emphasized the fear and the dread and the angst inside of Lagoshi and how scared the bunny girl is as a result of this because her life is on the line. So I feel like that was a missed opportunity. It was a good scene nonetheless, but I just feel like it could have been so much better with 2D animation. Um, we then move on to the school. There's basically an incident in the school where they're all eating lunch, the carnivores and the herbivores, and Lewis, the deer, breaks it up, and he has a little one-on-one -on -one conversation with Lagoshi afterwards. And, uh... This is interesting because we also get to learn about the B-Star as well. Uh, the B-Star seems to be some sort of like student council president, I guess you could call it. They didn't really say what they do, but I guess they're like kind of like the figurehead of the school and they're kind of in charge of stuff. Uh, so that's kind of a little interesting insight. And then we move on to the uh, drama club once again. Uh, we see that Lewis, uh, earlier in the episode, he suffered an injury to his ankle and he's struggling to get through that. So, you know, he's putting on this proud, uh, brave alpha male personality and he's really trying to conceal the fact that he's hurting and in pain. He feels like because he's an herbivore that if he shows any kind of weakness, people are just going to say that he's your typical herbivore and that that's you know, he's just playing into his natural instincts, so he really wants to display himself as a calm, confident, and assertive individual who commands a lot of respect. So that was also a nice little interesting insight on Lewis. And we then move on to Lagoshi. He's got to go get some flowers for the uh, drama club. He goes to the flower garden, and lo and behold, the girl who's in charge of the flower garden is Haru, the little bunny girl that he almost ate the night before. And uh, this is kind of interesting because, you know, we saw in the first episode that Haru was kind of an outcast. 
Uh, she seemed a little indifferent, uh, a little reserved, and a little bit indecisive. Uh, but th in this episode, when she's in the flower garden, she shows a lot of good values. You know, she shows a lot of confidence in herself, self-resolve. Um, so she seems like she's a very, when she's in her element, she seems like she's in control of things. She was basically telling Lagoshi what to do in the flower garden, and he was kind of just doing whatever she said. And the episode ends with uh, them in a shed together. They're looking at some flowers, and uh, she's like, hey, do you want something to eat, you know, for helping me out? You know, can I get you some food? And Lagoshi's like, oh god, like, I almost ate this bunny girl the other night, and now she's asking me what I want to eat? Oh, damn it. Just put your leg in my mouth, and I'm gonna start chomping. Uh, <laughs> but uh, then Haru kind of sees his nervous angst and his indecisiveness, and she kind of misinterprets the situation. And being a confident female that she is, she decides, you know what? I'm going to take charge here. I know what he wants. Quote, unquote, she knows what he wants. And she starts taking her clothes off. And then she's in her underwear, bra and panties. And she's like, all right, you know, you're a big bad wolf. You're about two and a half times my size, probably three times my weight. But hey, I'm going to give it to you, and uh, you're going to like it, and, uh, you know, no matter how aggressive or forceful you are, I'll per I'll act like I like it. <laughs> so, she's basically every, every weeaboo's dream. I mean, there, there you go. That's what you wanted. But is it bestiality at this point? Because she is a rabbit, uh, but she has human-like characteristics, and she's bipedal, so... Uh, it's, it's a bit of a gray area. And, and what's the whole deal with, like, interspecies mingling? Like, are they... Are carnivores and herbivores allowed to, you know, have intercourse with each other? Like, I, I don't know. I mean, that's... Can they marry each other? Is that, like, forbidden? Uh, they don't really expressly state that. But, man, it, this is... I, I gotta say, guys, I really enjoyed this episode. I mean, this was fantastic. There's so many questions that I have. The world building is really cool, and I love the characters so far. I mean, Lagoshi is a very deep, complex character who's very conflicted, and they all really are conflicted. Lewis is conflicted because, you know, he's an herbivore, uh, but he sh he's trying to show a lot of strength and confidence. And Haru, the little bunny girl, is uh, trying to find a niche for herself in a school that doesn't seem to like her. And uh, she's trying to kind of explore some possibilities with Lagoshi. <laughs> so, uh, you know, and, and she's so brazen and forward about her sexual advances. It's quite surprising. You think someone like that, who's been put down most of her life and is an outcast, would be... Uh, Maybe a little more hesitant to be so forward, but she decides, you know what? I'm in my little flower garden here. No one's watching. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> so, you know, this was a good episode, guys. I really enjoyed this one. I'm looking forward to the rest of the series. I still don't like that animation, though. I feel like that's a huge hindrance, and it really ruined that scene in the beginning when Lagoshi was cradling Haru, and he was contemplating whether or not he wanted to eat her. I feel like that could have been so much better. And, and throughout the series, too, it's just, you get these little scenes where you just, it looks good for a moment, but then it goes back to being this weird again and kind of uh, clunky. So... You know, I guess we're going to have to take it for now, and, you know, that's what they've chosen to do. They're going to go with this 3D aesthetic, so we don't really have a choice in the matter. Oh, one more thing. The new OP is absolutely fantastic. It's one of my favorite OPs of this anime season. Actually, it probably is. I guess Vinland Saga would count as the summer anime, so I, I can't really compare it to that. But compared to the fall anime, I think this is the best OP, and... It's probably the best fall anime thus far. So, yeah. Good stuff, guys. Uh, we'll wait and see what happens in episode 3, and I'll catch you on the flip side.